my name is Ingrid Honkala and today I want to share with you a very important subject that is pertinent to all of us. Fear. Today's video is about how living in fear and making decisions based on fear can be so damaging to our lives. As some of you already know, my love for the ocean brought me to be not just a marine scientist, but also a professional scuba diver. Through all my years of diving, I have done tons of diving and, and a lot of it. Some people would say to me, you're crazy. This is, this is too extreme because I would just go on and dive in, at night and caves, shipwrecks, fast currents, just all kind of things that I thought were, to me, were pretty cool. And in this case, uh, we decided that we wanted to, I wanted to go with a group of friends that proposed to go and dive uh, in a cave. And this cave was, was a very narrow cave. So it was more like what we could describe like a tunnel. What we were going to do was um, go deep down about a hundred feet and we will enter the cave at this depth, then go through the cave and the exit was about 10 feet from the surface. So that was, that was the plan of this day. Then it was a beautiful full moon. So it, the water was very clear and it, it was a really beautiful night for diving. We, we started our, our diving trip and everything was fine. We went down, we entered the cave and two of my friends went first, then it was me, then it was uh, my other friend went, went last. And the idea was to go very, very slow. This cave, like I said, was, was so narrow that once inside the cave, like it, it was really hard to try to go backwards because the tank could just get like trapped in the rocks or, or just cut in the rocks. So the idea was just to go through and, and like I said before, get out of about the 10 feet from the surface. And we were going as low, exploring this cave, having a good time. And suddenly, out of nothing, I started to feel this dreadful, dreadful feeling of being trapped. I, I started just to, to feel claustrophobic and an enormous terror to cover my mind and my entire body. And thoughts of horrible things that, that had happened in my life suddenly just populated my mind. And at that moment, I could feel how my heart was beating so fast. And I started to lose control of all my senses and, and to shake. And I just felt petrified. Then at that moment of terror, I felt, it's, it's like at that moment, I talk to myself. Like I hear my own voice saying to me, there is nothing to fear. You can do this. The fear is only in your mind. All of this was happening really fast. So, so right there, when, when I hear like myself saying to me these words, I just saw a fish. I, I, I had my beam of light and coming from a crevice, there, there was a fish. It was a really beautiful red fish with big eyes. And it just approached me. And at that moment, I, I got distracted. It, it was just for a second. I look at the fish and right there, I hear 
the voice saying to me again, see, you were able to shift your mind from the fear to the fish. And for that second, you were able to forget everything about the fear. So it's your decision to cross this cave and even enjoy it or stay here in fear. So at that moment, I, I had all these realization in my mind. And then I took control of myself. I, I think that I also can tell that all this come from all my years of meditating, all my years of self-awareness and, and always looking and, and being aware of my thinking. So at that moment, I started to just breathe deep, breathe deep through the regulator. And as I started to breathe, everything started to become calm. And I started to be able to move. The freezing feeling went away. And, and at that moment, more fish started to appear. And soon I, I, I just found myself completely enjoying the moment and forgetting everything about the fear. And the rest of this experience just was amazing. So this experience brought an enormous, an enormous teaching in my life because I realized that all that fear was only in my mind. Look, nothing had happened in the cave. It's not like a rock fell or, or something happened in my outside that brought me to be in fear. It was absolutely everything at that moment was in my mind. All this reminds me of a very powerful Zen teaching called the snake rope in which far away in the distance, there is a rope on the road and you're walking on this road and suddenly you, you, you see this and you think that this is a snake. And if you're a person that is fearful of snakes, which a lot of people are, then you will see these and, and you will feel petrified. And then you will say, there's a snake in the road and, and you will, at that moment, thoughts of fear related with anything you know about a snake and the stories you know and even thinking it could bite me, I could die. All these stories will populate your mind and, and you will be fearful. But if you make the decision to maybe walk slowly and look carefully and maybe approach the snake on the road, then you realize, oh, it's not a snake, it's a piece of rope. And once you know that this is a rope and not a snake, your, com your feelings completely shift from fear to knowing. And now you're clear and now there's nothing to fear. And once you know that thing is, is, is just a piece of rope, there's clarity. You, you will never be fearful again. Never again. Now you know, you have the clarity, you hold the clarity in your mind, the knowing. Thinking about this teaching and experience in the cave, I realized through time how a lot of the decisions I have made in my life actually came from fear and how every time I made decisions that were based on fear, things went really wrong. But every time I make my decisions based on 
clarity, based on love, things went really well. So it is when we have to stop and think how we make our decisions in our life. Based on what? Based on love or based on fear? There's a, a really, really beautiful, beautiful sentence, very beautiful quote that I have here from few spiritual teachers and it says you are God in wisdom and lost in fear. When I was younger the being so lied once said to me higher learning comes from wisdom. They say a fearful mind is limited but a fearless mind is an open channel for infinite wisdom to flow and manifest. They also say, the more you make an effort to understand and unveil any situation, like in this case with the road, well, what is it? Let's just kind of go a little closer. Then they say, the clearer your mind will become. With true understanding comes unconditional love, compassion and forgiveness. And once you have all these feelings of clarity, love and compassion, you can actually surrender to what is. What do I mean with this? And with all this, with all this knowing, then you can come to the realization that the experience that you are living at the moment is an opportunity for learning. It's an actually an opportunity for growing. It's an opportunity for, for expansion. All the challenges in life bring us to make decisions. And when we make decisions, we're actually having to go, look, explore, have to make these choices and, and all these choices bring us to be creative, bring us to search for an answer, bring us to search of how I resolve this and all these bring us to grow. So all these challenges are, are an opportunity for learning and growing. I, I, I love to think and, and other spiritual teachers say something that is really beautiful. Is that all these challenges, all this life is, or even what we consider our sufferings are not something done to us is something for us to grow. It's what the universe and we are giving to ourselves because sometimes the only way for us to come out of that fear is to confront it, is to have experience that, that will bring us to know, I yeah, I am a person that is experiencing fear. I'm trapping my thoughts. Like in that cave, I, I came to the realization that my fear at that moment only belonged to my mind. To my mind that at that moment was trapped in a story, was trapped in the past, was trapped in a memory. Nothing was actually happening. But of course, if, if there's a rock falling, if the, 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 I hear trembling. So yeah, at that moment, your first line of defense will be that fear that you will use to how get out of the escape. You, you will use it for your benefit. But one thing is to use that fear at the moment for your immediate survival. 
or the alternative is to become a fearful person. Those are two completely different things. When we are fearful people, we're people that are trapped in the story, are trapped in our memories, are trapped in what it was. So it is very important that we question our thoughts, that when we are making decisions, that when we are at a situation where we're experiencing fear, if we can bring to ourselves awareness. If we can at that moment pause for a second, like in that cave, that, that fish at that moment was my second. So we could identify something that, that helped us for a second go back to clarity and use that moment to open us ourselves to wisdom. What should I do now? What, what is the best decision? And say we're not like in the cave in a moment of life and death, but in just the decisions that we're making in our life every day, sit and meditate for an answer. Give yourself a moment of a space, a moment where you can actually be by yourself, go for a walk, sit in a bench, go to a park, sit, sit in a space where you're by yourself and you can actually ask the question, how can I understand this, this situation right now and how can I work it in a way that is going to bring benefit, which is going to help me grow, which is, is going to, to help me expand. So bring clarity to your life. Like again, like the beings of life said, higher learning comes from wisdom. We have to make that effort, that effort to understand and unveil unveil the situations I'm acting because in the past things I did these and now all my memories and are, are telling me uh, this is not good uh, it's all based on fear I'm trapped in the story of fear or how I clarify this how I unveil this how I I break this situation just question Question your mind. Become an observer of yourself. Once you keep practicing this, practicing this, it could happen like it happened to me in that cave. Even all of this happened in a matter of, of like seconds. I've been practicing in my life awareness. So over time you become faster. You will catch things faster. And when something happened, you will have a faster answer because now you're open. You're open to, to that awareness. So I invite you to try to find those moments where you can see it by yourself. When, when you can bring any situation that is happening to the light of awareness and ask God. How can I resolve this? How can I see the good in this? And how do you feel about it? How do you feel about this answer that you're getting? Learn to feel. How does it feel in your heart? How does it feel in your gut? Then you will teach yourself which one is the best answer. And you will live every moment with the knowing that you are, or at least you intended to make or to take the best path. And little by little, little by little, you will realize how all this is just learning. It's, it's our opportunity to learn, to grow and to expand. Before I go, I want to leave you with one more beautiful quote. Prayer 
is when you talk to God and meditation is when you listen to God. Thank you very much. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Take care. I love you. Bye.